Former PKR Vice President Tian Chua said he has been prepared to accept the consequences of his actions. However, he noted that such harsh enforcement of the rules appears to go against the spirit of reconciliation and inclusivity of the current government. While he acknowledged that the party needs to maintain organizational discipline, he said in the context of the post-GE15 scenario, rival parties have put aside hostilities during the elections. Even old long-term enemies, including those accused of being treacherous, have declared a truce and cooperation in the formation of a unity government. Tian Chua said harsh measures to enforce the rules seem to contradict the ethos of reconciliation and inclusivity in the current political environment. This came after PKR officially decided to sack him from the party. Tian Chua stressed that he takes responsibility for his actions and does not blame anyone else. However, Tian Chua said he was sad and disappointed by the decision.